Well, gang, I've done a little research, and it turns out that, in fact, you can uh, help the children of the Atom while still being a good guy. That's right. You can actually, there's actually a good guy path to all the missions, as far as I've been able to read up on. And, uh, as a matter of fact, to get the good ending... Well, I mean, the good guy ending. The, the Pollyanna ending, I'm going to call it. Where, you know, everybody doesn't have to necessarily die. You don't have to wipe out one encampment or the other. Um, that's actually kind of a critical thing. It's important. It's important that you kind of interface with both camps. And that you do a lot of extra missions. And that gives you some, some opportunities later on. But, you also have the opportunity. And this is a little bit different than the main game as well. Uh, or the other add-ons, really, you do have the opportunity to be a complete jerk and, in theory, wipe out just about everyone on this island if you so choose. So we're not going to take that path, although I think it'll be obvious the way you can get there if, uh, if you follow along on page three. But for right now, what I would like to do is I would like to consider the holdout. Uncle Ken. I haven't seen a lot about Uncle Ken or Uncle Ken's mission, and this is something I'd like to, to figure out here. Search for Uncle Ken. The National Park's Visitor Center. And he's not even that far. He's not that far away, so let's do that. I'm thinking... Um, let's see, where do I leave that armor? I'm thinking we armor up. I know I haven't needed the armor much, but this guy's supposed to be surrounded by monsters. If you're surrounded by monsters... Hey, people are using the beds. Good, good, good then. If people are surrounded by monsters and stuff here, you know, you want to have all, some kind of plan of attack. Though it does look pretty there, doesn't it? Hmm. Now we can always repark it. A chunk. You know, just the general dangers added with the persistent radiation dangers means sometimes you need a big old thing of a body. Tell us Having a little, little something to eat there. So I might point out you're a robot. Okay, is he actually cutting any off, or does it stay the same size? I'm pretty sure that stays the same size. He cuts them off, and yet it's the same piece of meat. It's magic meat! Come on, magic meat. We're on our way. What are we armed with? Ah! Trusty, reliable. Blast him in the face gun. Though I'm starting to get concerned because I only have, you know, 600 rounds. May want to go to well, the nimble combat rifles. Interesting. I don't see myself moving a lot faster there while aiming. Maybe it's faster than slow, you know. There's always the high speed shredding minigun. Save the shotgun for really, really, really bad things. Which there are a lot of out here. Eh, there's, there goes my supply line. We walk along. This is one of the situations where it does look cool to see boom dee dum da dum de do la dum de dum de dum de do la dum de dum de do la dum. Okay. Yeah, I dig. What's this? Kitchen scale? I hardly ever see a kitchen scale. Industrial size, something other, blah blah. Gas canister. Not a lot to survive. An aluminum can, tin cans, and stuff. What's my inventory at? I'm actually pretty full. Okay, let's take a break while I dump stuff off. Where is this guy running to in like an awful hurry? Guns drawn. I guess I'm distracted.
Is this synth-like behavior? I mean, it's... No. I don't see anything. Nah, no, it's just the guy with the cow. Hmm. Teepees, wigwams. There are two tents here. It's Harpoons? Stuffs and more stuffs and stuff left behind in a tent. And yeah, there you go. Clean that out. Now let's see what else can we find here. Yeah. Uh, I've noticed that they like to. They take that straight path and they make you go around. Alright, there's a bridge. Let's go up the, over the bridge. Jumpity, 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 click, click, jumpity, boom. Of course, Far Harbor is actually based on Bar Harbor. You look, apparently, if you look at the sign, like, the bee's been messed up. That tick, tick, tickety's going again, but... I can't say I'm really feeling it. I stripped this stuff once before. Keep working our way towards the holdout. Okay, this is where I picked up that suit of armor, which I think I dumped back in... Tester! Yes. Yeah, I already got this stuff. Part of the collection. Okay, this is looking like maybe I want to have a gun out. So this thing takes a minute to spin up anyway. And it's not like... Yeah, that's... Not like you can pre-spin it like you can as the heavy. We got some fog stuff going on here. Some fog suckers. It's quiet. Too quiet. National Parks Visitor Center! This is where we're supposed to go! The Vim machine. Okay, at this point, everything's gonna happen at such a, uh... Such a close, uh, en engagement range. I don't want to accidentally blow up the... Whoa, what's this? Okay, that was a trapper. We can feel good about that. I did not see the mine. I have to admit, even though there's supposed to be traps, I wasn't looking. This, uh... You see a lot of folks at their worst in my line of work. Hard to not let it get to you, so. Ah, uh, ghoul. Oh, we're hidden. Low charge, that's good. It's got oil in it. You know, we need oil. Oh, there's a guy to talk to. Can we... Let's, let's save here. Put the gun away. Oh, dear. This is going to end up being another settlement. sent you? He was always a smart one. He sent me the fog condensers. Made it safe to breathe here. Glad to hear he still cares about his old uncle. But you... What? What have you done? They're coming! They're coming! Then let's work together. Oh, fine. I haven't reset my traps or repaired the defenses. Quick, 
Do what you can with the workbench supplies. They'll be here soon. Ah, okay. So we now we're going to... Let's see. Workshop. Do they get enough to... Oh, uh, we can't do anything fancy to any missile turrets? No. But we can do some heavy turrets. Um, this looks like it could be like... A couple of those up. What about some regular turrets? Anything left? Let's see, are they at least uh, level 7s? Mark 3 and Mark 3. Yeah, I have them facing the wrong way. Well, they're covering our back. Alright, the heck with this. You know, we're just gonna go right to the... Target. Oh, I think they're his mines, too. Where are these guys? Okay, I'm getting shot up a little bit here. Let's... Anybody getting behind me? Clickety clackety. Goodbye. Right in the crotch. I can't even see the guy. Well, now I can see him. A rabid Yao Guai was probably helping us. A legendary Ruthless. Where are you? Mr. Legendary. Legendary Ruthless Trapper. Trapper John MD. Where's the other stone? Do you even see him? Can we get a mark? Okay, fine. Legendary stuff? No legendary... Why am I not getting legendary stuffs? Cooking leather? Right. Okay. Oh, someone should make use of it. Well, Uncle Ken seems like a badass. And the best part is, I know I can just dump all this stuff right in the, uh... Whatchamacallit? <laughs> I blew that one guy to Kingdom Come. Where'd the body land? Yeah, I think we're going to have to write that one off, unless we see some bits somewhere. Ruthless trappers. Yeah, I'm carrying too much and can't run, but that's not a big deal. Because we're going to go right over here. First of all, I don't really care about any of the junk. He goes, just, that's how it goes. He goes right back to, you know. Combat rifle. Knuckles, a lever action, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. just the heavy stuff, and then you go. 
It didn't. It's a couple Coast Guard hats and the bun. It didn't. The thing and the other thing and the thing with the other thing and the 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 thing. Got a lobster trap helmet. Old fisherman cat. Yeah, sturdy man one. Trap our chest pin. Trap our left leg. Right arm. Right rig. Leathers and leathers and a. And now we're back down. Yagoi meat. Okay. Hey. Not bad. Mitch was a good boy to send you. But still, time to go. Goodbye. Goodbye. Before you attract more of them. Okay. Safe. Save. Mitch sent me to bring you home. Safely. Please, go to Far Harbor. This is my home. And what? You want me to huddle like a beggar in Far Harbor? I... I can't just leave. Okay. Let's try consider it a vacation. Just consider this a vacation. You'll come back later. When it's safe. You are so... persistent. Fine. You happy? You've chased me from my home. Ah, I'll pack my things. Okay. So we talked him into that. So where is he wandering to? Is he just gonna... Is he just walking home now? <laughs> Let's see. Do we have no people here? One bed. Happiness is on the downside. But this is another uh, another place you can call home. We got another settlement. So in theory, I could probably just uh, fast travel there and say, "Hey, Mitch, look, he's home." Maybe he gets killed on the way, and it's like, oh, jeepers. It didn't really take a long time to pack his things. We'll have to pack his things up for them. And keep them. Okay, I've turned off running. So I can go Oh, we see if I try to talk to him. Hey. Uh, Far Harbor is just terrible. It's noisy and crowded. Okay. He's just gonna complain. Well, we can just walk quietly then. Alright, what's up ahead here? Why am I using. Am I overloaded? No, I didn't want to pump out here. I want to just go back into normal walk mode. It's a glitch. So I shouldn't be, you know, if I just go back to walking. Anything up here? Do we have to worry about? What's that big place? I don't want to, you know, I don't want to pull any mobs here either, you know? That's. You don't want to investigate, but without looking like you're investigating, you know? Walk casually. Oh, there's Nick. Nick, where'd he go? Where did the uncle go? Nicky Poo? Oh, there he is. Anything down the road? Huh? 
don't think we have too far to go. Let's follow the road. Let's see, I could probably pre-run it a little bit. As I recall, there was some... This is usually an ambush point. You have to check that place out at some point. Come along, Uncle! You can tell he's really thrilled to come along. He's just so happy. I have to say, while we're just here watching Uncle Ken walk down the road, that they've really put a lot into this whole uh, this whole expansion. This is there's a lot of meat to it, and there's some good writing and some good thinking that went into it. There's still the whole question of who's a synth and who's not a synth, and I still take a little exception that they kind of make all the tech people a little bit too nerdy, but you know that's just me. But this is just really impressive. There's so many different facets that I feel like talking about. You know, like the Children of the Atom. Children of the Atom, I mean, alright, they're taking a little bit... Oh, a little bit of license that some might get offended with. Because, I mean, you know... Having to chase a black... You know, drinking from a, a spring and then chasing a a blackened uh, figure, a black figure that's supposed to be the mother of Adam. I mean, there's a little bit that some people could say, hey, look, you know, draw your parallels with a, you know, a different religion. But I mean, on the other hand, uh, if someone was making up a religion in the distant future, that probably that would be the kind of thing they would do. And if you think about it, they're saying that they really think that uh, Adam, A-T-O-M, is the one true deity, then, uh, well, good luck with that. I mean, you know, I do not believe that that is exactly what's happening in this here world. <laughs> the timing on that was really funny. Here I am. Oh, yeah. Here I am, speaking ill of Atom. And I'm attacked by ghouls. That's funny. But I'm sure purely coincidental. But no, seriously, as a, you know, as a Christian person, there are parts of me that will look, look at that. You know, I'm Roman Catholic. I'm looking like, wait a minute. You know, you're talking shrines by springs and you know images of you know a crying woman. It's noisy and crowded. Yeah, I hear you. Look at look at all the people and all the noise. But on the flip side, I can also I'm not feeling terribly offended. I'm feeling like, well, they're trying to they're trying to make a parallel. It's something, and say, this is what people are developing based on, you know, something, right? Their own twisted experiences in the radiation. That's how they're dealing with it. It's kooky. There's no question about it. Now, I'm obviously speaking here in terms of the in-game universe and how to approach it. He's up ahead of me? He just disappears when he gets here? I don't know. There's no saying hello. You don't get to say hi to Mitch. What do you think? He disappeared. He must like walk off into something or other. And just get unedited from the game when you get to a certain point if you follow him back. Okay. All right, all philosophy aside, let's go find Mitch. 
Guns, ammo, and souvenirs. Get them while they're in stock. Souvenirs. All your medical and food needs. Going to the last plank. Oh, he's here. He is. Look again. He actually did it. Did what? Chase me from my home? We should dump him in the harbor. Okay, let's let's do the the difficult one here for extra XP. You're really not grateful. You get to see your boy again. Ah, it is good to see family again. Here, I, I... Mitch is at a loss for words. Hush now. I owe you one. So we got a recipe of some nature. You took me away from my home. <sighs> okay, you can just keep complaining. Let's go out here. Get ourselves set up for the next video, because for right now, this is the Black Knight. Have a great night, everybody, as we look out into the eventually when it loads. Boy, that just throws off your timing when you get a load screen that's just so long. And uh, There we go. Looking out. Here we go. The th good ending video here. This is the Black Knight. I hope you guys have a chance to have some lobster, maybe. Enjoy some kind of seafood and yummy, yum, yum, yum.